everyone and welcome back or to my channel my name is Erica and today I'm going to be doing my makeup inventory which is one of my favorite videos to film because it's always so exciting to see like how my collection has changed over the past few months or year or however and to look back on this I have my notes written down here and I'm going to be comparing my numbers to the last update which was in March and also this time I'm going to be saying goals and I don't feel like these goals are you know extremely definitive like I have to have you know less than 10 products or I have to have less than two products it's more of a number so that I know not to buy too much or you know I'm more comfortable with expanding my products in this category so let's get started with face primers I currently have four I previously had two which you'll see in the picture as well if I had just waited another week I think I would have three because I'm so close to finishing one of my primers I have three sample size and one full size Although that one isn't even a full size, even though the full size is just 0.52 ounces and the standard primer is one fluid ounce. And my goal is to have between zero and one, so I guess zero or one. And this is because I feel like the way I use primers, I can substitute it with skincare and with powders. So for example, I use primers to fill my pores or mattify, but I found that primers are not the best for mattifying. It's more of the powder is good for mattifying. And for pore control, I feel like my skincare does a pretty good job of that, so I don't need a primer to do that. And I find that when I have a pore filling primer, my skin actually doesn't really react well. I feel like my pores get enlarged when I remove my makeup. So I prefer not to get that kind of primer, but I do have four and I'll use them up and instead I'll be using sunscreen as primer because usually when I use sunscreen, I forget to do primer anyway. So I would be okay with having one primer though because I know in the winter, extra hydration is probably what I'm looking for, even though I do have more oily skin, but in the winter my skin gets drier and so I would be okay having a primer that's more moisturizing. Moving on to eye primers, I currently have two. I previously had two. These are the exact same two as in March and my goal is two. So I'd like to have a glitter glue as you can see in the photo and or as you saw in the photo and a regular eye primer. So basically the Urban Decay Primer Potion. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this particular bottle. This is the anti-aging version, and I feel like it isn't as good as the original primer. I don't really need anything anti-aging. I'm 25, so not yet at least. And because of genetics and my face shape, and because I have oily skin, I feel like I'm just going to look young until I'm 120. I don't think I need anti-aging at the moment. And I feel like this tube eats up a lot of my product, especially um, with the applicator and the cap. Just so much product gets wasted. So I'm looking forward to replacing that when I can. Moving on to powders. I currently have six powders. One of them is a loose powder, but the other five are... Wait, no. <laughs> one of them is a loose powder. One of them is a pressed powder. I wrote loose on here. That's why I confused myself. One of them is a pressed powder. It's more like a blotting powder. And the other five are loose powders. I did have a mini Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. And I have a full-size Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. So I did try to use the mini um, just to see how well it would dispense from the container because it's very small. And the answer was very poorly. I ended up decanting the mini powder into the full-sized Cover FX translucent setting powder, 
which made my numbers go down, but now I have more product to work on for my Cover FX powder, which is actually in my Graveyard Project pan, which will be uploaded at the end of the month, so quite soon. So I just made more work for myself. I did pick up two new setting powders as well. I'm pretty sure I also used up one from the last time. I think it was... You know, I can't remember actually. Hmm. I know it's in my empties bin. It's probably a Wet n Wild setting powder, but I used up one and then I brought two in. So that's why my numbers didn't change, but the products did. So I purchased the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because I had a sample of it and I just fell in love with that powder. It looks so amazing on my skin. And so I decided to go for a I decided to splurge on it when I got my birthday coupon from Ulta, so it wasn't $39, it was $29, but tax made it pretty much back to $39. <laughs> um, it's very expensive here in California, but yeah, so I decided to purchase the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I also was passing through Solving on my way up from Southern California. And I saw this stand or a cosmetics display inside a little mall there. It could hardly be called a mall because it's very tiny, but I saw that they were discontinuing the brand. So I decided to pick up a loose powder from Dark Blonde Cosmetics. I think it's from Denmark. I don't know much about the brand. So if it's a sketchy brand, good thing I only bought one thing because I was literally just Googling on my phone um, like what the brand was about and I found nothing. I was like, okay, well, it doesn't seem like it's an MLM and there's nothing sketchy about this. So I'm just going to buy one thing because it was half off. So I paid $7.50 for it instead of $15, which I think was still an okay price for a setting powder. But yeah, that's where my two new powders came from. And I have a goal number of three, but this is not having three products or less. This is having three products or more. Um, I tried filming this video earlier and I realized that three was not the number that I was thinking of. So for me, I'd like to have one blotting powder like I have currently, one translucent powder, and one banana powder because it is more closer to my skin tone in the summer. So right now I'm still using a translucent setting powder and I feel like it's a little bit too light. Like I'm very tanned right now. Um, I got sunburned <laughs> when I was down in SoCal, which makes me sad because in the past I never got sunburned. Anyway, so yeah, I'm very tanned now, but my face doesn't look like it because I think there's a beauty filter on my camera and also because my translucent powder makes me look pale. I go through setting powders very quickly so I don't mind having more than three on hand because I know I will use it and I don't think I've ever really encountered a setting powder I don't like except maybe the other version of the Laura Mercier setting powder where it's dewier and it's got glitter in it. That one's more like a highlighter not a setting powder. Moving on to setting sprays, I currently have four. I previously had three, so I do have a little sample size of the Cover FX setting powder. I believe it came in a set with another mini Cover FX primer, setting spray, and the powder. So yeah, that was the three. Um, that was a set that I got, and it's so small. I feel like by December, I'm going to drop down two more, but my next update is in September, not December, so we'll see by then. I'm trying to get through my Urban Decay setting sprays. I really like them. I feel like I'll keep repurchasing them, but at the moment, I don't really need to because I have so many, but in the future, I'll keep repurchasing them unless there's like a change in the ingredients or if someone tells me that it's really bad for my skin because at the moment, it's okay. It's not breaking me out. It's not doing anything funny to my skin, so I'll keep using it. Plus, my face skin is very tough, actually. It's not sensitive. My goal is to have two setting sprays, which is, you know, one open and one backup. 
and it would be the Urban Decay setting spray unless I fall in love with the Cover FX setting spray, which is not wowing me. It's just okay. It's like, it's just okay. <laughs> Moving on to lip products. So for lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks, I currently have five. I previously had five. Nothing's changed. <laughs> And I have a goal number of 10 and I don't mind having more lipsticks because I wear a lip product every single day and I have panned lipsticks in the past. I've panned, how many have I panned? I panned a lippy stick, tinted lip balm, I don't know if that counts. I panned an actual lipstick, like full size lipstick from Lipstick Queen and I've panned a mini MAC lipstick. Oh, and a mini... Uh, lipstick from Waka. So I go to lip products. So I don't mind having more, although I don't think I'm going to go out and buy more, you know? Um, I think it would be more like a, there's wiggle room, but for now, I think if I really want to try a new color, I would go for a lip liner instead of a lipstick. And if I like the color enough, I would get a lipstick because there's more product and it's a better value for your money. Moving on to liquid lipsticks, I currently have zero. I previously had one. I'm actually decluttering the one liquid lipstick that I have because I feel like it's expired. <laughs> it smells funny and the texture has gone from smooth and moussey to gritty. So, and I didn't love the color. I don't really like liquid lipsticks to begin with. So I'm okay with not having it. And my goal is to have zero because I don't really like liquid lipsticks. Moving on to lip gloss, I currently have four. So this is two more than last time. I previously had two. What did I buy? <laughs> I think I got the CoverGirl lip gloss and the Flower Beauty two-in-one lip gloss and lipstick duo. I forgot to count the lipstick duo in the, or the lipstick in the lipstick category, so technically I have six lipsticks, I think. For my goal, I would like to have 10 or less lip glosses. I feel like lip glosses are a lot more easy to go through than lipsticks. But my preference in lip gloss formula is less sticky, less shiny, and more moisturizing. I don't know if that's possible. I think the closest thing I can get to that is my Nature Republic. Eco lip gloss, I really like that one, but I cannot get it at the moment because they're restocking. But I do really like that formula. Moving on to lip liners, I currently have four. I previously had four, it's the exact same four, and my goal is to have ten or less. So I feel like lip liners are a better way to try out, you know, funny colors or, you know, colors you don't wear every single day. So that's why I have a goal number of 10. And the four I have right now, I think two of them are neutral. One of them is red and the other one is green. So maybe I will add a purple one eventually, but who knows? I'm not in the market to buy any more lip products at the moment, except maybe lip gloss or tinted lip balms. Because for me, in the summertime, I get eczema on my lips. It's not the winter. In the winter, they're perfectly fine. It's only the summertime. So me not having any products on my lip right now um, is probably going to make me pay for it later. So I think after this video, I'm gonna slap on some lip gloss because they're dry. Moving on to tinted lip balms. I currently have eight. I previously had eight. I did use one up and then I got the NARS, is it Afterglow lip balm? mini in the Sephora birthday gift set and I'd like to have 10 or less tinted lip balms. I think 10 is just an easy number to remember so that's why I put 10 for each category. I don't know if I've ever hit 10 um, like lipsticks, 10 lip glosses, 10 lip liners, or like tinted lip balms. I don't think I ever have but I feel like my current lip product collection is very manageable and not really looking to expand, but I've given myself some wiggle room in case I want to. Moving on to brow pencils. I currently have seven brow pencils. I know the photo shows eight, but I only have seven because actually right after I took that photo, 
I went to go sharpen one of my brow pencils because I noticed that it was a little short and that was the last bit in the pencil. So there's a very long chunk of the pencil that is empty. Technically, I only went up one <laughs> in brow pencils. I don't have a limit on this because I go through brow pencils pretty quickly. I have no brows. Like my natural brows are very light. So what I do is I have to draw an outline and fill them in. So that takes up a lot of product. And I found that brow pencils other than pomades are the most cost effective way to go about this. The reason why I don't like pomade is it's a pain in the ass <laughs> and I just I don't like the look of it. I like brows that look softer. More. Moving on to mascaras. I currently have eight mascaras. I previously had four mascaras. As you can see in the photo, I am a huge fan of the heroin make brand, well in general, and the Volume Control Mascara. I have used up at least three in the past, so when I saw it in stock um, at like a Japanese, no, I think it was just an Asian beauty store in general, um, I stocked up because they said they had the best price. It was only $14. Online, it's like 13 but it's barely in stock online, so I bought five in one go. My upper limit, I guess, is 10, having 10 mascaras, because, you know, mascaras go bad, but the problem with the mascara brand that I use is that it dries out very quickly, so you might get, like, a max of two months out of it. Having 10 would mean that it would last for under two years. <sighs> Dang. My mascara habits are very expensive, but I wear mascara every time I wear makeup. Or, okay, almost every time I wear makeup. I would say I forget once a week to put on mascara. And no other mascara works, so this is what I stick to. Moving on to eyeliners, I currently have three. So I have one pencil liner, one liquid liner, and one gel liner. So, the pencil is new. It's from Persona Cosmetics, and I love it. That liner is like using liquid. It's so creamy, it goes on so smooth. And I just wish Persona would make more. Or maybe they have more, but it's not sold at Ulta. Maybe it's still on their own website. But I have the dark brown version and, or just brown eyeliner, and it works so well. The first time I used it, I was amazed. It's truly waterproof. I don't think I've used another eyeliner that's been so waterproof. And I think in the future, I'm just going to buy that because I have a liquid liner and a gel liner, and I'm not a huge fan of both of them or either of them, but I really like the pencil liner. So my goal is to have five or less. So I can have, you know, maybe what my standard brown liner and some more colorful eyeliners. I don't really like to wear black eyeliner because I feel like it's too harsh and it makes my eyes look a little bit smaller and they're already tiny. <laughs> so um, I prefer brown liner. Moving on to cheek products. So with face palettes, I currently have three face palettes. I previously had two. So what happened was I made a Franken blush and bronzer and put it into the Wet n Wild contour palette duo. So because there's two different types of products in there, I'm just going to count it as a face palette because there's a blush and a bronzer in there. If it was just blush or just bronzer, then I don't think I would count it as a face palette. But I do count all the num all the blushes and bronzers and highlighters from those palettes in my bronzer, blush, and highlighter section. So it might not be pictured, but it is in the face palette. So if you don't see it in those photos, just know that they're in this photo, but I didn't open the face palettes just because I didn't want the mirrors to reflect everything and I also did not want to open all of my eyeshadow palettes to take a picture. My goal is to have two face palettes so I really like the hourglass one so I think I would probably buy one every year from now on because I like it so much or maybe not but I do want to have two or less face palettes. Ideally I'd have one for travel and one that I would keep um, to use for every day. Moving on to bronzers. I currently have six bronzers. 
I previously had two bronzers and my goal is to have two bronzers. So I have a lot of bronzers for someone who doesn't really like bronzer. I seem to just get bronzer. I franken one of my bronzers and then I had two that were in the face palettes. And then I bought two. I did buy the Sun Poppy bronzer and the Milk Makeup Bronzer Mini. And the last bronzer that I got was the Sephora birthday present. So that wasn't one that I purchased. And I feel like I can go through that one pretty quickly. Isn't the Sun Puppy bronzer so cute? It's like the shape of a little dog and on the inside there's a face actually. So I bought it in a set with the Glover highlighter and actually I ended up liking the bronzer a lot more than the highlighter when I thought I would like the highlighter a lot more than the bronzer. But yeah, enough rambling. I have way too many bronzers for someone who doesn't really like bronzer, but I do wear bronzer every day, so it's not really a problem for me. I'm sure I will get back down to two and then it will just climb back up because I buy face palettes and they're in the face palette. Moving on to blush, I currently have 14 blushes. I previously had 12 blushes and I have a goal number of six blushes. So obviously the goal is to have a different colored blush um, or every blush that I have is a different color but I do have a lot of dupes within my collection so I even have two of the same blushes so I have two deep throats from NARS and then I have I think a dupe for the NARS orgasm as well in my collection. I also did make two new franken blushes that's where they came from i can't remember the last time i went out and specifically bought a blush all the blushes that i have were free to me except for the hourglass blush be blushes because they came in the palette but i didn't specifically buy the palette for the blushes i just bought it to try out hourglass six that's a long way to go i think i'll have these blushes for quite some time probably not getting blushes anytime soon i used to be really blush crazy i think last year um but now that's definitely calmed down because i know there's no way i'm gonna go through all my blushes moving on to highlighters i currently have six i previously had five um glover is new to me and it's the little puppy highlighter also really cute and i did also buy the becca shimmering skin perfector in the shade champagne pop but I didn't like it. It looked really strange on my skin, no matter how much I tried to get it to work. I have a highlighter goal of three. I just want natural highlighters, but two that are powder and one that is cream. Finally, moving on to eyeshadows. So I have to split into three different categories. So I have eyeshadow singles, anything that's not a single, and, and then I have a category that's anything that's not a single or not a palette. So duos, duos trios, and quads and then I have eyeshadow palettes so for eyeshadow singles I currently have 14 singles I previously had 22 singles but I did do a declutter and I got rid of some that were dupes or some shades that I didn't particularly love and my goal number is to have 18 so I have these two uh, singles palettes from Sydney Grace and ideally I would just have those two palettes. I do have some loose eyeshadows here and there but hoping to use them up <laughs> or yeah I'm just hoping to use them up so that I don't have to deal with having singles like that like stick singles or creams. Moving on to eyeshadow duos, quads, and trios I currently have three. I previously had two. I can't remember if in March I had already repressed my Huda eyeshadows into there. I don't think so. But what I did was I took one of my old e.l.f. palettes, removed the logo, removed the stickers in the back so it looks more like a generic um, quad. And then I repressed my Huda eyeshadows into there. So I have two Huda eyeshadows in there and I have two empty spaces. I have my e.l.f. jalapeno pal uh, quad palette thing and then I recently got a Kaja bento stack from my friend for my birthday. My goal is to have five or less. So 
that's not very hard. I was thinking about it and I was like, I honestly prefer to have palettes. So that's why I put five or less. Maybe ideally I wouldn't even have that many, like maybe one or two. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes. I currently have 10, I previously had 13, and my goal is 15. So with my eyeshadow palettes, I had 13, but I turned three of them into bronzers slash blushes, which is why that category went up, So and this category went down. But as you can see, I feel like my collection, other than cheap products, is pretty, like, pretty alright. I'm going to be moving towards the end of the year, and I did do a fantasy declutter video. I filmed it yesterday, actually, but it's going up next week. And when I was doing the declutter, I realized that there's definitely some products that I can let go of, and I wouldn't mind as much as others. But obviously I'm not going to declutter just for the sake of decluttering, but if I no longer want to keep those products by October, um, I'm probably going to let them go. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Um, I'm hoping that my numbers shrink by the next update because it will be September and you know, September is the month before October. So I might, might, I doubt it, do, or, yeah, I might do a declutter. I don't know if I should do it before the, the um, inventory update or if I should do it after the inventory update um, in October, you know? So, that's everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in three months for the September update. Bye!